Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Looks like we uh, got caught in traffic. Didn't get here at opening, so we got to gotta wait in line. I was in such a hurry, forgot my microphone, so we're going old school audio tonight. So I'll be using my outdoor voice. All right, I'm gonna begin out here at the drive-through. If you see, these cars are looped around. It actually starts up here behind the school the campus and then it winds around they take orders now i'm gonna head on in here into the trenches where all this fish is being fried and breaded look here they've got it down like a fine old machine see here look at their wall of fryers yeah they're in the, they're, hey how's it going they're in the heat of battle. Look, you see? If you're wondering if this was hand breaded, well, there's your answer right there. Hand cut, hand breaded. Oh, egg rolls. I heard y'all got some good egg rolls. Father makes them. Who? Father. Oh, is that right? He actually makes them. All right. And then they're doing carry out orders over here. There you go. Look at the onion rings, hush puppies, fries. And, uh, yeah. Oh. Ain't nothing better than a good hush puppy. All right. So I'm going to wind my way on through. Now, a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. Then coming into the other kitchen where all the, well, some of the side dishes are being prepared, like that vat of mac and cheese you see there. If that doesn't get your taste buds going, I don't know what would. And there's more of them egg rolls prepped. Oh, there's coleslaw in the process of being mixed together. Now I'm going to head on back out this way. Out here where the general public is. So there you have it. That's pretty much the operation. You got soft drinks here, beer here. And of course the national treasure in the house. Good evening everybody. Nice to have you. Welcome to St. Anthony Nation. I know nothing about it. <laughs> oh, but speaking of that, uh, the reason National Treasure is with us tonight is he's going to take us on a tour of his old stomping ground, St. Francis of Assisi. So make sure you stick around for the very end of the video because he's going to tell you why he is a legend at St. Francis of Assisi. So that's all going to take place at the very end. So don't go away. You're going to miss out on some good stories. Okay, you saw that long line. It started all the way around there, winds around. You pay there. And then you finally get up here and get your food. So I'm getting close. It must be pretty good, folks. He was 200 deep in line. I had to wait a half hour. They shouldn't have made the national treasure wait that long. All right, for the plate haters. 
There you go. Got their egg roll, which they're supposedly known for. Of course, their ham bread and cod and the rolled oyster. You knew I couldn't pass that up. Third stop today. Third fish fry, and I'm not done yet. All right. Saved by Grace. Grace hot sauce. Not my cup of tea. You might notice that that cracker meal breading. That's pretty standard around Louisville. Especially amongst the Catholic fish fries. You go to a lot of places, you get that Green River style cornmeal breading, which I like that too. But on fried cod, it's generally cracker meat. All right, nice looking sandwich, all right. Very good. I'm telling you, when they bread it, when they thaw it, cut it, bread it themselves, it makes it different. Rather than sitting around in some warehouse already pre-breaded for a day before it gets here. Alright. Egg roll. Got some of that sweet and sour sauce. Let's just, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to mix it up. Why play around? Mm. Being that I don't have my microphone, I want to make sure you can hear the crunch. I had to get the rolled oyster. You knew that. I wasn't even planning on getting a rolled oyster. I came here for the home breaded fish. But then when I saw that oyster, I had to get it. Let me just see what I'm working with here. Oh, right off the bat, I see three oysters right off the break. We're going to try with the cocktail. And the grape. Has anybody ever seen him have a bad meal? had some that were mediocre, but I just scrapped those videos. If something's mediocre, I just have to crash the video and move on. I can't recommend mediocre. Uh, One thing about this bread you wouldn't have liked it, Sam. It's got pepper in it. I like a little pepper. But it's really peppery. I like that. Great flavor. Great quality fish. All right. Be back in a minute. We're going to wrap things up. And then we're going to get in the car. And we're headed to Bardstown Road. To Sam's old stomping ground. So stay tuned, don't go away. All right, like I said, we're closing out. But uh, as I was up there, the priest said, oh, you gotta have one more egg roll. So I gotta do it again. Let y'all hear that crunch. All right. See you at the next stop.
Headed on down in here. We're at St. Francis of Assisi. Get that sign. Oh, reserved for St. Francis of Assisi That's alumni. Right there. Oh, we get to sit here? Yes, we do. Wonderful. All right, look around. Got big time operation going on here. Place is packed. All right. Go ahead back here and see if I can find my friend Larry Litting. All right. So Sam wanted me to take a video of this schoolyard. It's a big courtyard. He said it's going to tie into one of his stories here later. I'm sure this is going to be good. But yeah, this is the courtyard in the center of the St. Francis of Assisi School. When I was back here doing my review during the COVID shutdown, we actually sat, Mary and I sat there at that picnic table under an awning. Outside the back of the gym here. And you see we got our fried cod, slaw, fries. Because the only thing you could do is get carry outs, drive through, you couldn't even go in the building. All right, headed back in to find the national treasure. All right, so we're here, St. Francis of Assisi. I've been doing a little jumping around. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing tonight, but that's beside the point. I usually don't review the same place twice because I was here during COVID shutdown. Everything was completely shut down. You could just go through drive through You couldn't come in to get carried out. So I came here, and I came here for the reason that they bred their own cod. Get down here in the trenches with you. We're down here in the basement of uh, St. Francis of Assisi. And, uh, you know, these guys are hard at it. Sleeves rolled up, going to battle. And we're I was able to get down in the, in the trenches, in the basement, and they showed me how they hand-breaded. I was back there getting all the secrets. Anyway, you can refer back to that video. But anyway, I had to come back and do a do-over because of the national treasure over here. He's got stories, he's a legend here, which we're gonna to get to later and you're gonna see. But make sure you stick around for the end and see and hear some of that stuff. That pertains to the national treasure. Okay, so, as you know, I'm a professional. I don't eat off plastic anymore. No plastic forks, thanks to Cindy Johnson out in California who sent me this silverware set. But we got shrimp, we got fish, I got some oysters, we got the green beans. They wouldn't tell me the secret recipe on the, the special seasoning. Let me just go ahead and dip some of them out. My ketchup. All right, so Sam, go ahead, get started. There you go, cracker meal breading. They said it's Green River style. It's got some cornmeal and some looks like uh, cracker meal. Got some good looking rye bread. French fries are very good. The reason we're here is because I'm an alma mater. We took pictures of the courtyard where myself and my teammates shoveled snow of many a day to get to have a place to practice basketball and play basketball during the lunch break at school. That's where we played in that school. We didn't eat in here. This is the parish hall. Next door is the cafeteria. Our parents all volunteered in the cafeteria line. My mother worked at a many a day. This was a close-knit community. And believe me, this basketball team here was like brothers. Which you will see in a little bit. All right, the breading's very good. It's got a good crunch to it. It's got a nice spice. I see some pepper in there. It's got a nice peppery taste to it. It's not bland. White flaky cod. Now, 
I'm moving on to some shrimp. What's that? What's that shrimp? These are butterflies. They're crap. Oh, that's oyster. I got a little side order of oyster. Cocktail sauce here and oyster. These are pan fried. These are not uh, roll oysters. I remember I had some of those when I was here back during COVID. Very good oysters. Did I get you come here? Get your side of oysters. word from my sponsor. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. A little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned and y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's barbecue and Amish deli. Hey, that's cocktail. That's great ketchup. All right, gotta try the green beans. You know what? It's got a nice little flavor to it. There ain't pork in it, I can tell you that for sure. But, it's kind of got a little smokiness to it. They might have put a little hint liquid smoke or something in there. Let's see what these fries are like. Saved by grace. All right, so before I get the story, Sam wanted me to show the city championship. Is that the city championship trophy? Look at that. There's, biggest, there's another one. Biggest trophy in the case. Right. And their, their picture, that was sixth that was grade, grade championship. Sixth grade championship. This and is then, our, this is our eight, this one. And then National Treasures pictures in there somewhere. Right there in the middle. Is that you? Uh, right there. Yep. Get Bobby next. The champions. That's us at a reunion. Oh. Isn't that something? <laughs> Where's our seventh grade runner up? Have you ever seen a grade school trophy like that in your life? That looks pretty good. Stand there next to it. Both of y'all. There you go. Showing off them trophies. All right. Which one they won? Well, here we are at St. Francis of Assisi. And I'm the oldest alumni here tonight, along with my teammate, the second oldest. I got him by one month. We just showed off the trophy case. We showed the trophies that we won while we were here. This is Dr. Robert Nold, the most valuable player on that team. And I was a guard on that team. 
Well, I'm glad that we got a witness here to keep the story honest. It changes periodically. Right, but yeah. now we got witnesses side by side, so we're going to get the true story tonight. You're getting it. Carry on, Sam. We Most were, valuable player, doctor we, over here. On our voted by our teammates. Uh, we won two city championships and were runner-up in our seventh grade. Uh, St. Augustine beat us in the finals. So we have three trophies in here. Very proud of them. Uh, we were a very close-knit group. We won the sixth grade championship by two points in overtime, beating St. Thomas Orphanage, and we beat St. Leo by one point in the finals. Somehow, by the grace of God, I made all turn. His dad felt sorry for me, so he went out and bought me a trophy and called it the most valuable player trophy. Oh. Now, that's true. We, that's true. <laughs> we voted him most valuable on the team. <laughs> Your dad still bought the trophy. Well, it don't make any difference. We yeah, that helps, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I still got it. Good old daddy ball. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Anything else you want to add to that? No, that's about it. Okay. Let's get to the fish. Okay, and then, of course, we're doing first things last. This is actually going to be at the end of the video, but stick around after this because then we're going to get the rest of the story about the schoolyard that I had to go out there and film. I'm sure Sam's got stories that he needs to tell about that. Bobby and I spent many an hour shoveling snow back there so we could play. So we could practice and play back there. That's, That's right. where we practiced and played in that schoolyard. Okay, well, we're going to do the end around reverse. We're going to go get fish and start off you know, getting a video and uh, hee hawing their, about their old heyday. That's why I said on there to see if they can open it up. There's Father Murph. Very good. There's Sam right there. Right there in the middle, of course. And then there's the reunion picture. Good up close shot. Larry, don't go away. Come here. I got to get you in here real quick. All right. Coincidentally, the guy, my connection here, Larry Lenning, he's the man who are in the trenches, in the back, slinging fish so all us guys can come in here and enjoy it. Yep. Larry's the man. Uh, you see him it. in the 2020 video. Uh, this is Larry Lenning. He is uh, the gentleman that reached out to me, uh, invited me to come and... Uh, but you don't recognize him because everybody was masked up. Yep. But, yeah, appreciate everything. Thank you, sir. We appreciate everybody. Thank you. National treasure. The reason we're here tonight is because I'm an alumni of St. Francis. A few years, a few years ago, we took a lot of pictures. One of them was the outside of the school building on the steps in the school. And those steps are significant because my graduating class picture was made on that step. There were 44 of us and probably 25 or more are still living. Another picture made was in the courtyard. Bobby Noel, my teammate, happened to be here tonight. And he and I, and Bobby Y, and Jimmy Denninger, and Gene Block, we shoveled snow out there many, many days to be able to practice or to play at lunchtime. The seventh grade would play the eighth grade. And we had tremendous battles. So now I know I had to film the courtyard. Continue. We were very fortunate, very close-knit. We won two championships here. The sixth grade championship and the eighth grade championship. And then while we were in the seventh grade, we were a runner-up in the seventh grade, in the eighth grade championship. So we put three big trophies in there. I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of my teammates. Like I say, we were close knit, we won a lot of close games. We won anything like Kentucky today, we couldn't score a nine. But we could score one more than you did, and to us that was all that matters. There was also a big banner that went along with this big trophy here. Today, we won the championship on Sunday afternoon, and I handed that banner to our pastor here, 
Father Lent, and the next day he had it up on the wall. When we came into school, that banner was up on the wall where everybody could see it, right here above us. It was a tremendous experience here at St. Francis. Very, very, very successful class. I was the only bum in there. Everybody else were doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs. I was very proud of our achievements here. I just wanted to take you back in a little time. A little piece of heaven from the National Treasure. And speaking of a little piece of heaven, what's that old saying? Uh, he's single, by the way. I told you before, but lard my hair, and how's that go? Bells on my toes and lard in my hair. And a pocket full of money and a heart full of love. He's terrible. Right. All right. Well, we're right down here in Sam's old stomping grounds, right here in the Douglas Loop area. And uh, we've had a good time tonight. Come on through. You're fine. You're fine. So we're back here. Sam, uh, Sam's a legend in these parts. So I wouldn't say that. Right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wrap things up, and y'all don't know nothing about these Louisville Catholic Church lit fish fries. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country.